my channel. My name is Carmen and I'm the designer behind New Leaf Designs and today I am showing you my new sweater and I remade this from an old project and you can see kind of where I picked up the stitches and knit up the rest. So this sweater uh, was originally my as if tea and I will put in some pictures as I'm talking. The as if tea is a pattern by Shay Johnson who is knit and crochet on Instagram and it's a delightful pattern. Um, I loved making it. I made it in 2019 um, and I wore it uh, during Oslo Strike Festival uh, and during several podcast episodes but I just was not wearing it as much as I would like. Um, I love wearing my hand knits and I have only worn this maybe up to 10 times. Um, and it's just because warm things and short sleeves don't match up for me. Um, and yeah, so I thought, and also because I had a lot of the, the same yarn, but kind of different color left in my stash, and I was just looking at it, I have this big open cupboard there with my yarn in it, and it, would, it was just staring at me. And I, I had a bit of yarn left over from all four colors that I originally had. So it's all by the, the same indie dyer, all the same yarn base, but it was all kind of different shades of pink and purple. And I had already used three of those uh, skeins in here. Uh, so they're very, very similar. Uh, and then the fourth skein was... I still have this much, much left. Oops. <laughs> Uh, the fourth skein was this vibrant, vibrant pink. And then I also had a little bit uh, from a different project that was kind of similar, uh, but a different indie dyer and different base. Um, so because I wasn't 100% satisfied with this project and because they had so much yarn left over, I thought, okay, I'll remake this as if tea in a raglan sweater. So I looked at my as if tea and I will put in pictures of the process as I'm talking um, and I put in my needle so I put in a knitting needle in the last usable round and because I had a lot of felting at the armpits uh, because this is just 100% wool, um, I could not use all of the rows of the body, but I could use most of them. And this is what I ended up cutting off. Um, well, not really cutting off, because you just cut one stitch and then you just unravel all around. So this is the top from the original As If Tea. And it's all mohair on the back, and then you have a triangle detail here. And you can still see here how much it has felted. There's like no stitch definition left here, it's just a big piece of felt. I ended up taking this off. And then I just had the body of the sweater um, and I knit that up until the new armpit uh, length, until the new body length. Um, I just added a couple more uh, rounds and then I cast it on for both sleeves at the same time um, and knit them up until armpit length as well and in the sleeves I used up most most of most of this color uh, I used it previously only in the um, neck band of the SFT uh, but I used it for the sleeves now 
And this one has a lot of white and also a kind of caramel honey brown. And then I used, well, I kind of um, gradually went to the pink that I um, was saving for the top. Yeah, but then I also used some some other yarn in between and it kind of went a little bit wonky, um, but I don't really mind. Um, I mean, it's a pink sweater, it's going to stand out anyway. Um, and as soon as I had the sleeves to armpit length, um, I joined them all together and I did raglan shoulder shaping all the way to the neck band. So the raglan shoulder shaping is basically um, decrease on eight points during the decrease round and then, is it eight points? Yes, uh, on eight points during the decrease round and then have one resting round, so just a plain knitting round. So for each shoulder, seam, so front and back of each shoulder, you have two decrease points. And I have two plain knit stitches in between the decreases. And that is a very basic raglan um, recipe. Um, and it doesn't always work because, um, you know, you might, um, it, it depends on how, how many stitches you have for your um, uh, sleeves. Uh, but you might end up decreasing all of the sleeve stitches and then still have a lot of body stitches. So that means you would have a kind of boat neck. Um, so to kind of, um, remedy that. I also did some short row shaping just to go around the back to make that higher and then um, no I still decreased on the sleeves for that as well. Hmm. Um, yeah and I bound off for the neck band on the front. I bound off for that a little bit earlier so then I just went around in rows. Um, yeah, and so yeah, I'm not going to tell you exactly how I did it because it's just very much trial and error and try on and see where to go from here. Um, the, the stitches for the neck band, I didn't bind them off, but I just put them on a, a separate needle so that I would have live stitches all around. Um, that did end up with the neckband stitches being very loose so I had to uh, tighten them again um, when I sewed the neckband together so um, here is one spot you can see with the neckband sewing I also picked up some loose loops here and there to kind of cinch that back in um, and then, so I have, I have another clip of when I have just chosen the neckband color. Um, so you can see kind of the live stitches on the needle. So I'll put that in right now. Hi, so I just decided on a color for the neck um, border, cuff, no, not cuff, edging. <laughs> um, on my remade sweater and I'm going to try to fix the color later by doing some duplicate stitching here with this color. Um, I think that'll work and if if it doesn't work I might do some embroidery over this but I think I'm gonna wear it and see if it, if it bothers me at all. So I've uh, caked up this yarn which is by Black Elephant, um, an indie dyer from the UK, uh, from Sheffield, and the sticker is over the colorway, 
Uh, it's called Cornfields, and this is uh, their Superwash Merino and Nylon Blend. And I've caked it into uh, two separate balls because I'm gonna I'm gonna have to use it double stranded um, to make it uh, kind of fit the yarn thickness of the rest of the sweater because I think this is Aran weight. I'm knitting it on 4.5 millimeter needle. Um, it might be worsted weight instead. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I'm knitting it on 4.5 millimeter needle. Uh, so I'm gonna be knitting the um, neckband on 3.5 probably. So hopefully that will do. And I just think it gives a very uh, fresh, uh, you know, vibe to it to add this um, mustardy greeny color um, and also hopefully it will lift out some of the yellow that's already in here yeah so we'll see yeah so I'm just going to knit the neckband and finish my sweater and here it is on ta-da I really love the neckband color because that really adds that zing <laughs> to it. You know, even though it's, you know, pretty, um, um, <laughs> this is not a low-key sweater, but, um, yeah, I like it. And I did add a little bit of embroidery in the, like, the body section. Uh, with some of the leftover yarn from the top because uh, the fading is less than subtle and so I added some embroidery here and you can still see on the back how it was so here it's much more noticeable and here it is still noticeable but I think less so um, so who knows I might still add some embroidery here and there. I still have some yarn here that I could add duplicate stitches with. Um, so I might do that just to make it a little bit more coherent. Um, yeah, but honestly, I, I really, really like it. I love um, that I've taken something that I did not wear that often and now I am sure I will wear this a lot um, when when the colder months come because yes it is June right now um, but yes this just felt felt really good to get this off my list and to have something in my wardrobe that I'm happy with um, yes and now I am itching to uh, finish some of the sweaters that I still have on my needles because I think I have three or four sweater projects right now um, but I just need to finish. So, yes. And also I'm always looking for new sweaters to cast on. So tell me your favorite sweater or cardigan knitting or crochet pattern in the comments and I'll check them out. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.